Well, the city of Nisswa is asking for feedback about a new comprehensive plan. Our Taylor Archer went to City Hall to find out more. The last time the comprehensive plan was updated was in 2007. And those who call Nisswa home agree that it's time to think about making changes. In essence, the comprehensive plan is a, a vision for the community's future and it also lays out a, a strategic map to reach that vision. We want to know where we're going, we want to know where, where we've been and how we're going to get there. The comprehensive plan will also serve as an important tool to address issues around the area. There's issues such as transportation and, and sewer that probably would need to be addressed more than others, but there's also topics such as parks and open space and natural resources and land use and zoning that are all very important too. But in order to figure out what can be better, the city needs community input. Without the public's input, you leave it to the bureaucrats, which is City Council and the Planning Commission. So it's very important that the city uh, residents come, come to the meetings and find out what's going on and then express their point of view, because without their point of view, we're shooting in the dark. And there are several ways for Nisswa residents to be a part of this process, whether it's attending council meetings or staying updated online. Check the city's website or the Facebook page. You can also sign up for email updates. Um, there's a lot of ways to get involved. There'll be a, an online survey at some point and another open house too in mid-April. The city hopes that its residents will give them direction on what needs to be done. In Nisswa, Taylor Archer, Lakeland News. The first visiting session will be January 10th for those interested in hearing more about the plan. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.